Hey everybody, it's Peter from Brantford Kia and today we're talking used cars. This is stock number R8046A. It's a 2015 Kia Rio. It's an EX Plus model. Let's go take a look. Alright, Rio EX Plus. This is a nice little car. It's got fog lights, alloy wheels. I think it looks really sharp in the red color. It's not quite a full-on like fire truck bright red, but it's still not a um, you know, it's not like a, a cherry red either. It's, it's just a nice red color. And actually there's a new Rio right behind there. Uh, we'll sort of zoom in. It's very similar color there. So that's the updated uh, model, but this is uh, the 15. There's the alloy wheels there. Come on the back end. There's a coupe and a, or sorry, there's a hatchback and a sedan in this uh, style of car. So this is the sedan. Huge trunk, we'll show you that in a second. But for now, let's hop inside the car. A couple little details on the outside. You have signal lights on the outside of the mirrors there. You do have a sunroof. We're going to talk about that in a second as well. Let's hop in the car. All right, so it's a key start car. We're going to start the car up awkwardly here with my left hand because I have the camera in my right hand. We'll take a look. Here's what the dash looks like. There's your uh, tachometer on the left hand side. In the center, you've got your speedometer and your um, uh, information display down low. Trip computer with a number of information, more than just a trip computer in there. You've got uh, fuel gauge, temperature gauge on this side there. Whoops, try to zoom out here. There we go, zoom out over here. And over here you have a touchscreen stereo system. So this is AM, FM, and Sirius, radio, Sirius satellite radio. So um, the newer versions, you don't get the Sirius satellite radio until you move way up. Uh, but of course, Sirius satellite radio, the great thing about that is when you buy a car with satellite radio from us, you get three free months of satellite radio. Um, and of course, this also has a CD player up top there and uh, AM, FM, of course. One thing I want to show you is if we put the car in reverse, you also have a backup camera there. So nice little guidelines, uh, very clear, uh, easy to read screen or easy to see screen. We're going to scroll down again. I love these buttons here to kind of look aircraft style. They are a part of your heating and ventilation system. So manual air conditioning system, air, heat. We're going to scroll down a little further, see if we can get in there. There's where you can put your phone down here. You've got, um, you know, USB connections there. You've got two power ports there as well. So that's really cool. And the thing I really like, I don't know if I can get them in focus. There we go. Rump roasters, heated seats, two levels of heated seats in both front seats. So that's really nice. Automatic transmission. And you do have um, a manual shifting capability. So I can drop it in drive and you can see that little D is lit up in red. If I pull it to the side here like that, you can see the plus and the minus. Maybe you can't see it, but they're lit up in red. And that means I can choose whatever gear I want. So if you like manual transmission cars, but you want an automatic, you can still automatically shift this car. We're going to zoom out again. Lots of good visibility. Even the little extra windows there that give you some extra visibility where a lot of cars would have mirrors. So good visibility in this car. It is a, um, there we go, sort of a dark gray interior with a little bit lighter seats. So almost a black interior. Maybe it is a black interior. Colors aren't my best thing, but there's the seats there. They have a little bit of a pattern to them. You can see in there. It is a five passenger car. You can fit five people in here, four very comfortably, and the fifth uh, shouldn't be a big problem. You got lots of room there in the middle seat as well. All right, we're gonna scroll back to the driver's or the passenger side door. We're gonna look up from there, and you can see there's the big sunroof. So uh, nice sunroof up there. We're gonna come back to the driver's area. We're gonna go to the steering wheel here. You've got, whoa, let's try to get that in line. There we go. So you've got your uh, cruise control here. You've got a, you can speak to the car there, tell, tell it uh, to do various commands. Uh, down here you have your trip computer. So that's again, that information display in the center of your dash there. You can control that from here. Bluetooth controls on the other side of the wheel here. And of course you've got your audio controls over there. You also have automatic headlights, which means you just set them to automatic, which is up top there. Let's see if I can get in. Uh, this is not the best. There we go, set it to auto. And uh, headlights will come on when uh, it gets dark outside. You also have fog lights. Power windows, power locks, power mirrors. You even have a little button here, right over there, which if I hit it, will fold the mirrors in. So you can make it nice and compact if you're putting it in a garage or parking in a tight spot. So uh, yeah, I like this car. A lot of nice little options, nice little features that you don't see at first glance. We're gonna hop outside the car now. As I do that, I'm gonna show you what the key looks like. Here's what the key looks like. It is a standard Kia key. That uh, key blade there folds into the fob. So you just have the fob in your pocket, no big key blade. Uh, we're gonna hold this button down right here. And as we do that, the trunk pops. And this is a huge trunk. It's hard to show on video how big these things are, but um, I don't think I can reach the seats. In fact, I'll try. Oh, I'm right in the truck, in the trunk to reach the back of those seats. So you have a huge floor here. Um, very, very big trunk. These cars are known to have a good sized trunk, even though it's a small sized car. 
So there you go. If you're interested in this car or any car just like it, feel free to give us a call. Phone number is 519-304-6542. And uh, if you want to reach us online, you can find us at www.brantfordkia.ca.